The wife of philandering South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford has maintained a quiet, dignified demeanor since her husband's affair became public. Now, Jenny Sanford is dishing about her husband's betrayal in a candid interview with Vogue magazine. Sanford compares her cheating husband to an alcoholic. She says, quote, I have learned that these affairs are almost like an addiction to alcohol or pornography. Addicted to sex outside the marriage? Then shouldn't he step down and go to a sex addiction rehab? Sounds like a good idea to me. Mrs. Sanford discovered her husband's affair back in January. She and her friend couldn't resist Googling the other woman. They wanted to see if the governor's so-called soulmate was pretty. Jenny Sanford reportedly thinks, yes, she is pretty. The Vogue article is the latest chapter in a very messy, scandalous summer for Governor Sanford. I cannot believe we are still talking about a sitting governor. Why won't this guy resign and work on his family? Straight out to my fabulous panel, CNN analyst Lisa Bloom, criminal defense attorney Mark Iglarsh, and Dr. Reef Kareem, psychiatrist and addiction specialist. Straight to you, doctor. Could yep. she be right? Could the governor be a sex addict? She could absolutely be right. You know, what we're talking about here is impulse control disorders or behavioral addictions. Look, first off, you know, when, when somebody on the outside sees this or hears this, you think, oh yeah, right, come on, seriously, you're going to blame addiction for acting out or hooking up with somebody else? But the reality is, this is a legit disease. And I don't know if he has it or not, but it's called sex or love addiction. You have a, a preoccupation with somebody, obsessional thinking, fantasies, whereby you can't control your thoughts and literally you can't control your actions. So you end up doing all this crazy stuff because of the way that, that you're interacting with other people and the way you need to attach. You mix up wants with needs. And, and, and also, can treatment. I say this, Dr. Reef? that I saw evidence of what they call intrigue because he said that he had dalliances with other women but he never crossed the ultimate line but he had some physical contact. Isn't intrigue a big part of sex and love addiction? Oh yes. Especially love addiction. I mean, the concept of fantasy is what this disease is all about. It's you live in a fantasy world. You don't live in reality. So you make up all sorts of stories in your head. You project all sorts of fantasies on other people. And in the end, you're acting on your fantasies instead of acting on reality. Now, it's, it's, a it's a very tough illness, and it's really hard to treat. And I, I don't think it'd be very easy to treat while you're a sitting governor either. Jenny Sanford's Vogue interview doesn't sound much like her earlier statements about her husband's affair. Here she is back in June, the week her husband's infidelity made headlines. I don't know whether he'll be with me, but, um, but I'm going to do my best to work on our marriage because I believe in marriage. I believe in raising good kids is the most important thing in the world. Two weeks ago, uh, she very publicly moved out of the governor's mansion. We all saw her carrying boxes along with their four sons. She released this statement. We will return often and I will remain engaged in activities in my role as first lady. So Lisa Bloom, it kind of sounds like she's got mixed feelings about all this. She can't quite walk away. I love this woman. And let me tell you why. First of all, Jenny Sanford, the other woman might be pretty. But you're beautiful on the outside, as evidenced by those Vogue pictures, but also, more importantly, on the inside. I think she's doing a wonderful job of retaining her own independence, her own dignity here, distancing herself from this jerk of a husband that she's stuck with, also saying that she's not going to let hatred fill up her heart. She's going to find a place for forgiveness because that's healthier for her. But 
He has to make major behavioral changes. And she's going to focus on those four sons that she's got that her ex-husband, I hope soon to be ex-husband, uh, seems to have forgotten all about with his shenanigans. So I think she's a much better role model than Jim McGreevy's wife or Elliot Spitzer's wife or these Stepford political wives that we've seen standing with glassy eyes next to their husbands while they're getting publicly humiliated. She didn't do any of that. She's forging her own way, and I think she's terrific. Well, well I, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I agree with Lisa. However, let me just talk about this for a second. To throw As out a the guy, addiction. Let me just say this. To throw out the addiction card. Now, I'm not defending him. Trust me. I, I don't think even if he had an addiction, that would justify his alleged using a state plane to carry him to his haircuts, his uh, dental appointments, and to his birthday parties. That's a whole nother issue for another Addictions day. Addictions don't but, justify but, anything. They're just an explanation her, for the but, game. But, but yeah, I know. But you know what? Could this just be what she described in the magazine as a loveless marriage filled with a man who's insecure, who eyes a woman, falls in love with her, and is willing to, as the hypocrite that he is, cheat on his wife? I mean, does it have but to be But he also addiction? takes off. He takes off from the entire state for almost a week. I mean, have we forgotten about that? He oh, just takes yeah, off and, and himself. Yeah. Okay, does that mean he has... He's does missing that, on five days. All right, Lisa, Lisa, finish your addiction. point. Addiction is a real disease. You're not Lisa. But I think to some extent, to some extent, She's suggesting it's an addiction because then she's able to say, look, he's powerless to control his actions. Like any addict, Jane, ring in here, please. Yeah, but please. look at Jane. Oh, guess what, addict, everybody? You know, and this hey, hey, not hey, we're going to come back. We have another segment because obviously this has touched a button. Stay right there. We'll have more on the Sanford Affair. That rhymes. Here's the cheating governor back in June with cameras in his face attempting a private apology to his friends and family. But I am not buying it. I hurt her, I hurt you all, I hurt my wife, I hurt my boys, I hurt friends like Tom Davis, I hurt a lot of different folks. Um, and all I can say is that I apologize. 